Good morning. Today is Sunday, September 27th, 2020, and it's about 2.30 p.m. here in Pasadena, California. Um, here's the update uh, in less than 15 minutes. So it looks like the Nikola SPAC is in trouble, which was thrown together really quickly by General Motors. Uh, this is a warning sign for this construction. There's a lot of hype and a lot of uh, running, rushing through these processes, and I think you're going to see a backfire. This one is particularly dangerous for GM. I would think that they were uh, probably trying to leapfrog Tesla and got ahead of themselves, but it's turning into a pretty big mess pretty fast. So, once again, a shortcut is the longest distance between two points. I've said that many times. Looks like Fedcoin is brewing. Uh, something else I mentioned many years ago that they would uh, try to create a crypto or they would create a crypto uh, dollar backed or dollar equivalent or maybe just coupled to the dollar currency. That looks like that's well underway. Uh, HSBC uh, is just starting, there are just some stories starting to break uh, on a giant scandal concerning trillions of dollars. Um, you're going to see this explode into something uh, enormous. So HSB trillions, if you want to keep track of that, uh, on just do a Google News search. So uh, as promised, after trying unsuccessfully for many months, to stop the hate speech and illegal slander going on by a bunch of anonymous misfits. Uh, the cease and desist has been executed, it's been published, it will be published wider, it will be circulated wider. I will post it out on my LinkedIn uh, network to make sure everybody there knows that it's all lies and what's going on here. Next stop is damages. This goes in the mail on Monday. So keep it up. Um, Jordan DraftKings gambling scandal coming, guaranteed. Watch. I wonder if Nike had anything to say about this. Is Nike prepared to have their brand tarnished by a gambling scandal? Because that's precisely what's going to happen when one does happen. So I wonder if their risk management people thought about that. So there are currently, uh, as of uh, 15 minutes ago, there are 1,909 searchable uh, articles on trumpsports.org. If you want to see what it is, uh, just go take a look. 1,909 uh, searchable articles. It's adding between 50 and 100 per day. 50 and 100 per day. So I am going to do an Ask Me Anything YouTube session on our Sports Vote channel in the future, in the not too distant future, probably sometime next month. I'm still collecting survey responses um, from the emails that keep going out. Um, as indicated in the email uh, a couple days ago, we did purchase another site in the Las Lunas area, not far from the Facebook um, data center. You can see the, um, the first page of the, of the um, contract for deed. It already went out. Uh, I'll get to what the, all of that's about and what we have in mind in future videos. So one of my friends, Jonathan Stone, is going to be speaking at the UN 75th anniversary uh, conference. That's a really big deal. I'm not indicating something right now, um, but I just want to say that that's a really big thing. He's a friend of mine. I've known him from the Hero Club for a few years now. So just put your uh, put that in your pocket for, for a moment. Vegas crime is way up uh, year over year, uh, like 30-40%. So uh, I think that's indicative of the shut down and all the rest of that, but it's higher than normal in other cities of equivalent size or other regions. Um, as, at some point in the future, I'm going to put a video out uh, on the Amsterdam Admiral story. I'm just going to call it that. So just remember that, Amsterdam Admirals. That was the former NFL Europe team uh, from more than 10 years ago. Our YouTube channel has 463,891 views and counting. I have received zero requests for any documents. Uh, as I indicated in previous videos, at least one, maybe two, uh, I would turn over anything that was asked as long as identification was provided and a non-disclosure was a simple, it's a very simple non-disclosure were signed. Um, it, I have received none. If anybody wants to call me a liar, then Please, by all means, transmit your request again. Prove your case. I've received no requests for documents. So, uh, also lose any notion that Seth Leon was any, on any sort of holy mission. He's now got a case to fight on two fronts that's not ending anytime soon. I have copies of his 
uh, financial demand letters. This is not some kind of I'm trying to help anybody. It's just pure greed and lies, just like everything else going on with the SEC and the Reddit assholes. J.P. Morgan facing a $1 billion fine, more financial fraud. There's going to be so much financial fraud over what's happened in the last uh, six, seven months. It's going, to be, it's going to be the worst ever in the history of the United States, guaranteed. Just watch. I need a few more orders before uh, first shipments of the masks from the Sports Vote campaign store. You can go to the sportsvote.org and you'll see it there. Um, please do help if you can. As I've explained in the videos what it's for. Um, and when I get a few more orders, I'll have a delivery date for the first batch. Baidu founder was ar arrested on illegal gambling. That's a pretty big story as well. So there seems to be some crackdown going on uh, around the world, um, outside of the U.S. mainly at this moment, it appears. The sportsvote.org is gaining new members for the first time in a very long time, which is also a really good sign. The USPS delay has been proven to be politically motivated. Uh, it's been proven by the courts. There's been three decisions come down so far. Uh, I would just like to point out that aside from the political impact of that, people were not getting their shipments on time. Um, you know, medicines were, were being late, sometimes being spoiled. Food was being spoiled. That's the cost of this game, this bullshit game that uh, basically got revealed. I don't think that... Uh, Judges should be notorious. Uh, this whole thing about notorious RBG, after thinking about it a bit, a judge's job is not to be a star and a name. A judge's job is to do the job of a judge, okay, and to not uh, to not create a spectacle, but to be an arbiter of truth. And I think this kind of a pattern is not healthy. Um, PPP loans, again, more massive fraud, and you're going to see tons and tons and tons of this. And surprise, surprise, they're already finding cases of public companies that had no need whatsoever for the funds, using it to buy uh, their own stock back off the stock market and create the artificial stock bubble that everybody is, not everybody, but some sides of the political spectrum are trying to point to to say that everything is fine when in fact everything couldn't be further from fine. So. And then finally, uh, fintech startups are on the uptick. So this is a uh, this is an important thing because obviously uh, that's our space. So I'm keeping a very close eye on that to see where that leads. Uh, you know what trends it creates, other than the SPAC trend, which I don't think is presently useful for us, but uh, other trends I think could be. So that's all I have. Uh, looks like I got it in at under 10 minutes here this time. We're very close. So thank you very much for your time. Have a, uh, a great Sunday, what's left of it, enjoying football, and stay safe with your friends and your family. Uh, this this um, pandemic is absolutely not over. Bye now.